Hey lads, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips, a 2020 4K year here. <laughs> anyway, look, Sunday morning, it's the Lord's Day, so give it up for the Lord, whoever your Lord is, man, it could be the peanut M&M, that could be your Lord. Anyway, church for cranies, usually that means a big piss up, but anyway, today's church I'm in an 80 ton Tirano, bruv, 80 ton Tirano, now I've done a video on this before, and I love the 80 ton Tirano, Ruffy, 80 ton Tirano, Ruffy, I'll get a picture for you up here, but just Google it, 80 ton Tirano, Ruffy, alright, now, good crane, everything works well, smooth crane, I'm a fan, it gets a good, you know, it's a big tick for me, the 80 ton Tirano, Ruffy, the only fault that happens, and it happens a bit, and it might piss you off, or it might not piss you off, but you might be rigging for a guy and it happens, is W0018. It comes up on your computer. And what happens is, is that fault will come up and it'll stop your winching up, it'll stop your jibbing up, and it'll stop most operations except for winch down and tally in. And so this usually happens when you're tallying out, it just comes on and starts beeping. Beep, 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 beep. All right, and so this tip today, bruv, I'm gonna show you how to fix it so it doesn't disturb you again. And I'm also gonna explain why it happens. All right, so if we look to the computer now. All right, we're at the computer now, all right? We can all see that. Now what happens is you set your boom, and in these cranes, you set your hook block, so we're going to use our baby, and we push OK. Now on these cranes, there's two rams. One ram controls the top three sections, the bottom ram controls the butt section. Butt section, top three sections, alright? And this usually happens when you're using the top three sections. So we'll go OK, and we're going to use the top three sections, alright? So. We're using the top three sections. So how this fault happens is when you're actually pushing the top three sections out, it actually grips a little bit to the butt section and pulls the butt section out just a smidge, enough to make the sensor go off. Now there's a sensor in the back of the boom which tells the computer if the butt section is in the right place. And if it's not on that sensor, it says, hey, it, it says, hey, the butt section hasn't moved, but it's not on the sensor. And so that's what this W0018 is about. It's saying that your, your main section, your butt section, isn't in the right place. Okay? So how we fix this is, one, make sure your boom's always greased, so it doesn't drag that bottom section out. But two, how we put it back into place is this, all right? And I'll show you. All right, guys, so just behind your seat, there's a box here. All right? Just behind your seat, there's a box here, all right? That box there. So what we do, bruv, is we grab this box, we unwind this. Sorry, we unwind it. All right? Now we're in the back here, all right? Now there's two buttons here, two red buttons. There's second boom, which is your butt section, and third boom, which is your top three. What we wanna do is we wanna hold down that button. And as we hold that down, with our other hand, we wanna grab the tally lever, or the foot lever, and suck the boom in. And what this does is it, is it overrides and it grabs your butt section, so your butt section's working on the lever, and when you pull the lever in, it sucks that butt section in, so the sensor is now actuated, and then your fault on your screen comes off. So on your computer, that, that fault will be no longer, and you can work again, all right? So once again, I'll repeat myself, you hold this button in, you pull the tally lever in, 
you'll hear the butt section click back into place, you'll hear it hit the end of the boom and then your alarm will go off and that's how you fix it, alright? So remember that, bottom button, wind that back up. Alright guys, so that's basically it. It's the only fault which um, comes up every now and then in these 80 ton Tirano uh, roughies. It's the only fault and that's how you fix it. So this could happen to one of your operators and if you're a rigger, you can go, look man, old mate Dell here, he's got a video on it. This is what you do. Alright, so it's helped me. Um, I think greasing your boom would help because if the three sections are coming out and somehow they're pulling that butt section out, maybe that's to do with grease, maybe it just happens, but yeah, it's a good little trick, it'll keep you out of trouble. So look, more videos on the way, like these videos, subscribe here on Monday, going to do a Monday update, we've got a few questions, we're going to go over the black bar on your load chart, we're going to talk about that going to talk about jobs, going to talk about a few other things. And then I've got um, a, train, chaining, a chain training course I'm bringing out. So big things, 2020, man. All things chains. How to do it the right way, bruv. But anyway, I don't want to fill you with empty promises. So when it comes out, it'll come out. But stay safe. Sunday, Brothers of the Hook. We out.